crab pattern was originally released in 2001 on my website harmonictrader.com and publicly in an article for stockcharts.com and if you go to stockcharts.com uh, search it on their site I know that they've they still uh, keep all of those those articles that I wrote back I think it was starting in 1999 and then actually wrote uh, a particular article that unveiled the alignment and the differentiation for the crab now this structure was devised as a means to differentiate similar M and W type extension price structures. What we're talking about is the crab versus the butterfly. In much the same way, we looked at the difference between the Gartley and the bat. The crab is different in a variety of ways, especially the XA, BC, and AB equals CD considerations. Also, the crab frequently experiences volatile price action. It's a very important anticipation and, and consideration for uh, executing trades at the pattern completion point. We actually want to expect price action to exceed the 1.618 X8 leg. Now, this is an extreme pattern. When I say extreme pattern, I mean price action will typically be volatile and extreme as it enters the potential reversal zone. This can be difficult to perceive an opportunity because if we're looking at a crab and the price action is moving quickly towards the pattern completion point, it may appear as if the structural signal is not valid. But as we see in these examples coming up, we're going to notice how the price action will change immediately after testing all the numbers in the potential reversal zone. crab pattern basics. Now we're looking at the crab pattern, we're looking at an M or W type structure that possesses a B point that ranges from a 382 to a 618 retracement of the XA leg. Now remember from the butterfly, the butterfly had a 786 at its B point. But really for the crab, we're, we allow a bit more variation, but we're looking for any B point that is at or below a 618 of the XA leg. This establishes the other measurements of the BC extension, which is usually extreme, usually minimum 2.618, can be as much as a 3.618, but these converge with the primary 1.618 XA extension to define sometimes a wide potential reversal zone, but a valid, valid structural completion point. Looking at the bullish crab pattern potential reversal zone, typically we're going to see this type of uh, this type of convergence of measurements, where in the, the bullish crab, typically the top number, the highest number in the harmonic support zone, is going to be the alternate ABCD component. That is either a 127 or a 1618 AB equals CD. In most cases, I've found that the crab is going to have a 1618 alternate AB equals CD. We do allow the 127 still is, will signify valid structures, but in most cases we're looking at the 1618 alternate AB equals CD, and this is going to be the highest number in the potential reversal zone. For the crab, we want to focus on the 1618 XA extension with the extreme 2.618 to 3.618 BC measurement. Now for the crab, although the ABCD component is a complementary measure, it still does outline valid structures. But for the crab, we really focus on the BC extension with that XA leg, and we look for the BC to complement the 1.618 XA extension for the optimal area to look to execute the trade. We employ the 2.0 XA limit, XA extension, that area just beyond the 2.0 as our make or break, that is the stop loss limit. So we want to utilize that area just below the 2.0 XA extension as the stop loss measure. Now for the bullish crab, we're looking for price action that must stabilize at or just under the PRZ. And again, the price action, we must have that expectation 
of, of volatile behavior. But as long as we don't exceed that 2.0 and we see the change in the character of, of the price action, we do have a valid structure. This first chart, Qualcomm on a five minute, really exemplifies the nature of the crap. Clearly, we had extreme, an extreme decline as the pattern was completed. On this intraday chart, the price action sold off sharply, tested all the numbers in the zone, but primarily we're focused on looking to buy the stock at or just below that 1.68 XA leg. Looking at this chart of the price action in the potential reversal zone, it, on this intraday chart, the price action sold off sharply, tested all the numbers in the zone, but primarily we're focused on looking to buy the stock at or just below that 1.68 XA leg. Looking at this chart of the price action in the potential reversal zone, clearly, this, this exemplifies the extreme behavior and extreme price action that's frequently associated with the crab pattern. Looking at our first number, the highest number in the support zone, this was a 1.618 alternate AB equals CD pattern. This completed just above the 50 mark, 50.05. Now, I will admit that this is probably the best well-chosen example, but we're looking always for the price action to execute the trade at the 1.618 or just below that 1.618 XA leg. This would guide our executions much lower down around 49.60 for the optimal area to, to get long the stock. In this case, we had a 50% at the XA leg. That marked the B point. Now anything at a 618 or less is a valid M type extension structure. It's important to notice that this extreme structure possessed a 1.618 AB equals CD component that was pretty much irrelevant for the setup. The main focus though is the again the 1.618 XA extension complemented by an extreme BC measurement. These define the area between 132.48 and 132.60 as the lowest numbers in the harmonic support range. But despite the ABCD com uh, component within the pattern completion point being practically irrelevant, we still had a valid uh, structural signal uh, based on the ratio alignment and the the BC extension complementing the 1618 XA leg. Looking at the next chart of the potential reversal zone in the euro, clearly we see how the price action declined steadily into this range. Clearly we see how the price action declined steadily into this range. We're focused again always on the 1618 XA leg as our, our primary pattern completion point. Now I showed the 2.0 extension in this chart, although the price action did not trade even close to it, that would be where we would consider to put stop losses either at or typically just below the 2.0. But immediately following the 1618 test, the, the, the character of the price action changed within 30 minutes, 45 minutes thereafter, the, the clear reversal nature of the potential reversal zone gave you that early indication. Again, a quick note on this, in this case, the first test yielded that natural reactive move. This was good for nearly 100 pips, and, or, or at least 100, yeah, 100 pips, but and we'll get into this when we differentiate reversal types, but it's just important to notice that this harmonic support uh, the, the harmonic support defined by the M-type structure was entirely valid, and it was defined by the 1618 XA extension. 